Hello everybody and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included here on the Seven Kingdoms. Alright, so, um, yeah, where, where are we? What are we doing? Why are we missing a exosuit thing? I don't know! But we are! And once uh, it saves, auto saves, and we can continue. There we go. <laughs> It back. <laughs> I don't know why it was missing, but it was. What's also wrong with this? No checkpoint. What do you mean there's no checkpoint? There's a checkpoint right here. Parents. Oh, because of the missing station. Why is it on fast again? <laughs> All right, well, welcome back, everybody. It's been a while since we recorded. I've been reading the notes and uh, some of the memos. I always try. Thank you for posting those um, and, you know, seeing where we're at. I saw a comment on the last one that said, too many lights. We don't need this many lights. But um, from my experience, we do. The reason is this is only three high. If this was four high, then, yeah, too many lights. Because when we look at the light overlay, um, you'll notice that only these three blocks are getting the full coverage and from experience now i could be wrong but from experience this one if this light didn't exist this one would grow to the next stage but then stop its growth would stop because the top of it has no light which let's be a little honest here you know, light doesn't work that way. Technically, this light should be shining in every direction. Why it only shines down, I'm not sure. There's no cover. I mean, you would think, you know, if I took this one, you would think that this one would be the one that only shines down, right? I mean, look, because by design, look, it has a cap, a cover on it, whereas... These do not. But anyways, um, you know, so the oxygen, you know, the studio got it wrong. The designers, the developers. Oh, well, <laughs> all good. I know there's this other light, too. The sun lamp. Oh, wow. But first of all, it's huge, but it really puts out light. But then again, yeah, it has a lid on it. So that makes sense. See, this makes sense from a design perspective. It just puts out a lot more light. Oh, what would you use this for? It can be paired with beach chairs. Okay. I mean, obviously, a lot higher lux. 40,000. Oh, this is almost good enough for um, solar panels, except one solar panel array only gives you 350. So, yeah, that wouldn't work. But anyways, <clears throat> besides the tremendous amount of power, I don't know why you would want it. I mean, we have some beach chairs, right? Somewhere. Do we have beach chairs? Okay, well, we don't have any beach chairs. We even researched it. We have. Curious. So... Bright light is plus eight. Ah, but what is considered as dim, dimmer than 10,000 lux? Now it makes sense. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I know that's one of the new things they added, so I'll have to keep that in mind that, you know, you can get extra morale by putting that in. That's curious. All right, well, now that we got that out of the way, um, what do we do? What do we need to do? What do we need to catch up on? Obviously, we were working on the volcano. Um, we're just waiting for this to become active. And in the meantime, we're creating a vacuum in here. Slow process. Just so that we can get this going. Um, because, you know, the gas causes everything to heat up and melt. So if we just create a vacuum, then ta-da. Uh, I was thinking about even removing this, but the temperature is too high. Anyways, so that's going. Um, how much plastic have we created? Just so I know. Okay, we yeah, we're fine. Those are turned off. We don't need plastic. 
Uh, we're working away on steel. I wanted to get some more steel coming in. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put in a little bit of recycling here. Um, because we have this, we're pulling <coughs> liquids from down there. This is going to be more temporary. Oh, saving, saving the game again. Let me just save. I think I can turn that off, but then I'll probably do something and go, oh, whoops, kind of wanted that. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to we're gonna stick this here. I, I don't need this, but let's just... I'm going to do it anyways. Why? Because I want to. You know, that's why. <laughs> that's a really good reason, isn't it? Um... Should work, right? Okay, and then we just add some power, which should be easy. Power line. So that's not a problem. All right, uh, and we just want the polluted water out of it. E for polluted water. There we go. <laughs> there you go. So we'll we'll pull that out. Um, that way we can collect all of this um, and just get it drained out and taken care of. I don't think there's anything else that'll drain down into there, but you never know. We got little bit batches of liquid everywhere, so, you know, there's always always the chance that something will happen. Alright, anyways, uh, we just landed our rocket, so we've refilled everything. We are ready to launch again. The question is, is do we need more data banks? Are there any left inside, first of all? What did we put in here? This is this is just a bunch of plastic. There's no data banks in here, no food. We can't launch yet. We need to put edible foods in here, so put edible foods. Um, how many data banks do we have? Because, I mean, once you reach a certain point, you no longer need them. We have zero. Okay, well, we need more data banks because... We haven't finished our research tree. We got one, so we need... What do we need? Does this mean I need 250 data banks? Plus 400 data banks? Plus more there? Don't need any for this one. Plus all of these. This one only needs 30, 30, 30. So on. Is that is that what it means? What are these things? Automatic receivers, automation, half this stuff. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to experience it and learn it. Anyways, we're, we're doing this one. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so does that actually mean I need 250 data banks? I think so. So we need a lot of data banks. Okay, so, all right, well, we need a lot of data banks. So the question is, is... Do we send this guy back out and do more exploration? The answer is yes. Like some more long-term, you know, we need better fuel, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, um, let's set our destination while they're putting in food. All right, we were already here, um, so I guess we'll go down this way. Um, we can go five. So should we go right here? Or should we go over here? Let's go here. There you go. Alright, I think they're putting in food. Yeah, they, they are. They're they're putting in food. Alright. Um oxygen wise we're good. Um water we're stocked back up. Water well, yeah, I mean we there's more water than we're ever gonna use on this. But evidently something's broke. Yeah, this one. There we go. So, I mean, there's more than enough water, so that's not an issue. Food. All right. So, next. Um. All right. So, this is growing. We're going to have additional food out of that. Why is this one not growing? Because we didn't put a pipe on it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. There we go. There's a pipe. I also noticed something. We have three thimble reed seeds. 
I don't know where they came from. Probably the, uh, we got the seeds from the thing, you know, as a care package. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that because you know our struggles we had where we almost lost every single Dreco. Now, okay, you... Are you a regular Dreco? Yeah, you're a regular Dreco. You're just... For some reason, you looked different color. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, so uh, we're going to grow some thimble reed seeds. Uh, they require polluted water and some some form of temperature. Yes. <laughs> Not a hot temperature, just a normal. Where's our polluted water lights at? Where do we have room? I mean, technically we could put it here, but there's no polluted water there. Um, aha! We can put it down here. All right. Cool, because they can grow in any atmosphere. That's right. Do... Oh, really? We have to destroy first? Okay, so we'll destroy first. Let's not use that because we'll probably find out we have requirements or something. Or, I mean, pipes or wires or something behind this, and then we'll regret destroying everything, right? That's usually the way it works. <laughs> Alright, and then we need uh, a polluted water line. I don't... I think there's a water pipe there, but you never know. We're saving again. Hold on. Hold on! <laughs> Alright, and then we can take this polluted water here. There we go. Um, we can take this now. Boom, 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 boom. I know we're planning more than we have, but I want as many reed fibers as possible. So we're gonna we're gonna stamp out reed fibers. Meanwhile, what is this? I don't need any way, we're gonna take the ice. Woohoo! Okay, cool. Oh, speaking of water for our farms. Oh no, we're we're fine. That's right, we're moving this we're removing these tanks. That's that's right. Yeah. Um, sure. <clears throat> we're doing something. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this. This is gonna be fixed. These guys are doing good. We'll have these built in a moment. Um, well, they're building the pipes first. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Build the pipes. Yep. Good job. Good job. Now you can get these things built so we can plant the reed fibers before I get distracted with something else. Uh, we got this one fixed. Let's... Okay, we got the suit being re-delivered. Cool. Um, let's check <coughs> our food. Excellent. We have food. 5 kilograms, 10 kilograms, 2,000 grams, 7 kilograms. I want to make sure we know. That's the problem. We keep running out of food, so... Um, why is a raw egg in there? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Um, we're definitely going to prioritize this in here. Um, we'll still do this, of course, if we need to. Um, we want to prioritize and make as many of those as possible. Um, and we gotta, you know, I built this thing. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. Provides guidance data to rocket pilots within range to improve rocket speed. Must be operated by a, um, so we'll put nine, but duplicate with the astronomy skill. I believe we have more than one person with astronomy. We got our new person, right? Alistair? Oh, you don't have astronomy yet. Oh my goodness. Do we have anyone else? Gret's in the other colony. She has it. So that's so we need you to have astronomy the next time you upgrade. Everybody else seems to be okay. Oh yeah, I forgot we have a whole nother colony we should be checking. Um, <laughs> what's going on over here? Uh, we were making sure we were we've been ah yes we were setting up cooling loop. Wait a minute. And we're, We set up a cooling loop. Set up a cooling loop. Oh, yeah, it was going to be hydrogen. That's right. Okay, so that's almost done. All right, because we want to make sure that this stays at an optimal temperature. I mean, it's cold right now, but we want it at an optimal temperature. All right. Um, well, we got a lot of these guys. Let's, let's pop you in. 
and pop you in and pop you in and then let's let's get some of these little guys here so wrangle you and wrangle you boy we got but we'll be able to get rid of the doors here in a minute wrangle you all right so let's get you guys wrangled so that we can get three more hives then we should be able to get rid of all the doors and then the only thing we have to do is make sure that there's plenty of uranium ore. Now, my problem is we've had some of these here for a while. Hold still. Okay, no, this is solid nuclear waste. So you're supposed to enrich uranium. Digestion. Uranium ore. Not to function if the ground has been destroyed. Have we been picking it up? Maybe we've been picking it up and that's why I'm not seeing it. No. I don't know. We've had some of these in here a while and it, it seems like we haven't produced a single uranium ore, so... I don't know. Uh, let me see. Let's just make sure everything's good over here. It's always good to check the colony just to make sure there's no problems, right? Temperature, fine, but you guys are too hot. 30 degrees, and this is 30 degrees. What's our temperature? Our temperature's 20. It's just that it's, it's hot. I mean, we've got plenty of food. I'm not worried about it. Our goal is to get out of this colony, right? We still got 42 kilograms over there. We're only bringing in a little oxygen, so we're fine. Um, we just need to get this. We're already feeding that. So, all right. So, construction nine. Guys, get those done. That's all that's left, right? That's all that's left. All right, get, get those done. So that we can complete this. All right, um, and then of course we're we're map sending liquids to the other colonies. So I'm gonna turn you off for now. You're already off. You're off as well. That that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're gonna have to start doing stuff. You're an iron volcano, but you haven't erupted yet. Then it's a matter of. Um, we just gotta, you know, continue mining stuff out and getting the rest of this. Um, I'm gonna come across here like that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. This is good, this is good. We still gotta mine the rest of this out. Uh, we got our top almost done, so... Um, our goal is, you know, get rid of everything in this in this whole place, right? That's our goal. So let's do that. This, this, and that. So that we can just mine that out. We're still working over here. We're still putting in our barrier. So we're fine. All right, cool. Let's go check. Do we got enough food in here? We do. All right, so... Um, what we want to do is change it to crew um, and begin the launch sequence. We're sending you back out into space. Good luck. All right. Anyways, we need more, more data banks. All right, down here. Ah, yes. We got this stuff built. There it is. Thimble reed seeds. What do you know? Extract, 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 extract. I like Drekos, but when you can get some thimble reed seeds and just maximize um, make getting the, the things, it just makes life so much easier. <laughs> it really does. It really, really, really does. All right, so that's good. So these guys will start growing. It's 12 degrees. What's wrong with you? Body temperature, 22. Oh, of course. Of course, it's too cold. All right, 
Um, that would be the case. Well, here's some nice... Oh, that's our loop. Is it our loop? Where's this going? Down here. So it comes this way. No, this goes up. And then it comes up here. That's so... I'm so confused. That one's on its own. Well, this is the right temperature up here. This was supposed to be cooling our kitchen. It's not flowing at all. Just sitting there. Turned it off for some reason. Um, now how do we heat this up? We need these things growing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we got this, all this down we don't, where we don't need this anymore, right? I mean, it's like... <laughs> now we need warmer liquid. It's too cold. Um, let me see. That's, it, it's this one. What's our temperature set at? We can change that. Okay, so if above... Twenty-five, then turn on. Yeah. Just realize we don't need all of this stuff. <laughs> we all... But, I mean, eventually. We might have to look at, you know, what we want to do to change this whole base. <laughs> it's what we're doing on our other colony. We just started recording today, and it's like, you know what? I want to give all the dupes comfy beds and, you know, all this stuff. Let's move the base. <laughs> and we move. Oh, my goodness. What's going on up here? We have something on. No. I was going to say, do we have liquid sitting on the, the things? And we don't. So what's up with all the carbon dioxide up here? How come it's not flowing down? Should just be flowing down, right? Ooh, we gotta wait for the save before we can figure anything out. Oh my goodness! And we got tons of gas coming in. In fact, we're over pressure everywhere except for down here. It's not a disaster. We're even over pressure going into this one. That's kind of weird. going on here oh power what you know we need a back we have a backup where's a oh we're out of coal for our backup <laughs> and this thing's never been producing anything at all anymore because we've got that messed up. Well, no, it's got six tons here. Maybe it's working. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll get a little bit going by that. Um. So we need coal. How much? How much coal do we have on Sanctilia? <laughs> oh, this is so. We're always having fun, right? This is what oxygen not included is about. And I can't seem to spell. Oh, well, we got tons of coal over here. All right, so let's let's get some um, consumable ore. Coal, nine, allow manual use. <clears throat> All right, guys, go get that coal over there. So that there's a backup power supply. <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, in space, you're working away. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You're making. Yep. You're busy. Look at that. Perfect. You injured. You got light wounds. Seriously, you can you can take off your suit. By the way. Okay. Got some ro rotten food down here. I hope you're prioritizing the right food, but you have 121,000 calories, so you you should not run out of food. We just gotta watch if you run out of oxygen, but you shouldn't, because there's like 
120 kilograms in here. We're over pressure on oxygen, and the pipe is still full. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're good. We're, okay, you have fun. Good job. Look <laughs> anybody on a stress schedule. No, we don't. We could probably split more people into the night shift, but oh well. <laughs> okay, well. I see we did reduce, we put most of it into the rocket, but we're going to recover pretty fast, so that's not a problem. Um, Alright, back to, back to this. We got the right temperature up here. So maybe we just need to allow the liquid to come up here. Yay, more pipes! It's fun. We don't need that on a night. Seven will do. Seven's more than enough. All right. Um, I'm just gonna come down right here. We're gonna come in like this. Um, I want to get to here, which means I have to get across some things. That's fine. We can do that. So we're just gonna go like this. Eh. We're gonna go down like this. And there. Alright. And then we're just gonna put in that. 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 Alright, so they'll build that. That's gonna get us the warmer temperatures. Um, so that's not necessary. That's not a problem. Get rid of that. That. Uh, then... Thank you for the comment about emptying storage on farm tiles instead of deconstructing the pipe. Again, I'm blind. I wear glasses and, you know, I can't see a thing. I've never seen the empty storage here. We can just click it and it, it'll it drop out the water. So this gets rid of the, the cold... Um, old stuff, right? What's our general temperature? 19? 14? It's also too cold from the temperature. Oh my goodness, we may have to move... Okay, so... So even if I put these in, it's still going to be too cold down here. Alright. Uproot! 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 We're going to move you somewhere else. We're too cold in the base. Where can we put you? I don't care where we put you. Where can we put you? 29 to 30 up here. What's your temperature range? Temperature range is 22 to 37. You know what? Here we are. Okay. We're going to stick you right here. We got three tiles above. So... One, two, three. Okay, we'll do a four when we have a seed. All right. We're going to put you into here, and then we're just going to go across like this. There we go. Um, I know I got this. We're going to cancel it. There we go. Figure this stuff out later. We don't want anything to go that direction yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is fun. All right, well, anyways, now that we've confused ourselves and changed our mind a dozen times and all of that good stuff, um, <laughs> we'll try to focus on something more important in the next episode. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Take care.